Okay, yes, happy days. <laughs> and it is an absolute pleasure to be hosting a very dynamic young woman this afternoon who has left her mark in this country and still continues to do so. She'll be discussing the merging of beauty with wellness, the Musadi Organics Imperative. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the founder of Musadi Organics, none other than Liz Litsualo. Ladies and gentlemen, Liz Litsualo. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be chatting with Liz about Masadi. I'm very excited. Um, and by the way, you all look stunning. You also look amazing, Liz. Yeah, so Liz has an amazing range of products for your hair and skin. You all know that we want to have wellness overall, hair, skin, beauty. Off. You can see her, her hair is amazing, her skin is glowing because she knows what she's doing. So run us through what inspired you to create this brand and what are your visions for the brand? Yeah, so thank you so much um, firstly for having me and thank you for everyone for, you know, to everyone for coming to the session after a very long day of engagement and talking and products and listening. Um, as the founder and CEO of this brand, Masodi Organics, which was named after the most important woman of my life, my mother. Um, you know, when I created the brand, it was for three reasons. One was, there was a huge gap in the market at the time, particularly for brands that are, um, that are not ashamed to center the black woman in particular that cater for everyone, but center the black women in imagery. It was very rare to see that, especially for products that are positioned as premium. And I wanted to see black women feel that they're affiliated with, feel that they're um, considered for when it comes to the crafting of something so special. The second thing was there was definitely a gap in the market in my view for products that were a nice balance between natural ingredients as well as incredible active ingredients. Oftentimes what you find is a brand that will either be a natural brand or that will be sort of like K-beauty kind of full of actives. And I feel like what Masuri Organics want to do is very much a representation of what I'm hoping for for the world, which is um, you know, a balanced world, a world that is able to acknowledge good in many different spaces, in many different things. And in this case, it would be the ingredients. And I think lastly, I wanted to bring something, you know, that can actually be a representation of what beauty, unapologetic beauty stands for. But at the same time, that considered people's well-being, that considered people's state of feeling, that considered how people actually feel as much as how they look. That's very thoughtful because you are right. There was a gap in the market. And you know what, as South Africans, we have been looking for a brand like yours. So actually, <laughs> since you have been at Clicks for slightly over a year, tell us, like, how do you feel? What are your, what's your achievement? Like, it's a great achievement, by the way. And so we just really want to know, like, <laughs> obviously, since you are here, what, what do you see yourself? What are the goals? What, what's the vision? What's the future vision? What more do you have in store for us? The greatest achievement I consider um, to have achieved through Masuri Organics is two things. Mm -hmm. One is, firstly, the ability to go into a large retailer as respected, yes. um, as diligent, um, and you know, as well known as clicks. That, for, that on its own is a huge um, achievement. And I say this because it's not always something that I feel on a daily basis. In the busting and the crushing and you know, the hustle of life, yes. you don't always feel like I've achieved. But I think the second achievement, probably even more important than the first for me, was the ability for the team um, at Masori Organics to keep iterating and getting better. And what I mean by this is when you look at the product offering we had when we launched in Clicks, mm -hmm. slightly above a year ago, we have almost doubled the size of our range. We've come up with incredible products like a hairline fortifying serum. Hair serums are, and scalp serums are very uncommon um, in the market. A root stimulating serum, which actually then tackles hair growth at the follicle level, um, is something that excites me. A scalp exfoliating scrub is an incredibly unusual product, right? And I think I really love it how people are receiving and are finding it exciting because, oh, it's like a scrub, but not for the skin, but yeah. for your scalp. 
that's dope, right? Um, we've come up with so many other things. We've expanded our skincare range with masks and serums. We're coming up with more treatment and more specialized and more targeted products that are backed by strong formulations that I'm so incredibly proud of and the numbers speak for themselves. The numbers do speak for themselves. So speaking about the serums and the scrubs for your scalp, what are the benefits of having to use the serums and the scrubs? Yeah, I think maybe if I can just start with a scrub, for example. The Scalp Exfoliating Scrub is a product that someone who has, you know, built up, I think everyone essentially should use a Scalp Exfoliating Scrub. Mm -hmm. What it's going to do for your scalp, it's going to clear any buildup, it's going to unclog your pores, it's going to clear things like your dead skin cells. It's actually the gateway to healthy hair growth. It clears your scalp and keeps it at a, at a healthier level. Mm -hmm. And then you come in with a Scalp Deep Treatment, Another unusual product to actually find on the retail shelves, a scalp deep treatment is going to come in and it's going to actually help clear your scalp and, um, um, and clear things like recurring dandruff, recurring itch, irritation. So many of us have not had the opportunity to see our scalps in so long. And whenever our scalps are irritated or itchy, we do this or we apply every single product we can find except for a treatment. And I'd like to urge everyone to actually try out the Masori Organics Scalp Deep Treatment. It's incredible. No um, artificial fragrances in there. And the reason for that is because scalps are generally sensitive things. Does this mean that it smells terrible? No. You have essential oils that are actually geared towards scalp care health. Your tea tree oils, your peppermint oils, they're absolutely incredible. If you want to engage more with our products and feel them, touch them, smell them, the first store, when you walk outside of the store, just turn to your left. This, like the first store you see on your left is the Masori Organic store. They'll let you play around with the products, feel them, touch them, and engage everything else. The line there, everybody wants they some They took of all this. our samples. <laughs> <laughs> we want the samples. I know. <laughs> so how often do you think that we should um, treat our skulls? So I think with hair treatments, or normally with treatment products, we're looking at different time ranges, but on average, you're looking at between four and eight weeks. Okay. So what I normally do, we have a protein treatment, for example. It's a keratin mask. If you have thinning, if you have thinning hair, damaged hair, um, weak hair that breaks, you need a protein treatment. So normally what I'll do, I'll, I'll sort of like oscillate. If I did a protein treatment in this week's wash, um, wash day, next week I'll do a scalp care treatment. And then the other week I'll do something else. Maybe the other week I'll just wash my hair and not treat it. But I think giving yourself sort of like the space in between different treatment helps. And the nice thing with, a scalp care, with our scalp care products, like the, even the scalp deep treatment for example, because we know that when you apply to your scalp, it's also going to get to your hair. We've put in some really good ingredients, your D-panthenol, AKA Pro-Vitamin B5, which also tackles hair moisture, right? Because in solving your scalp issues, we should not be creating hair care issues. Correct. Right. Correct. So I think something everyone would like to know is that, um, is this for all hair types or specifically? Yeah. I like to call Masodi everyone's brand. There's a product for everyone. Would it be true to say every single product is for everyone? Not necessarily. The Shea Butter Hair Food, for example, I recommend for, straight, for people with straight hair and mm -hmm. Caucasian hair, don't use the Shea Butter Hair Food. That is honesty. Why? Because it's sticky, it's heavier, and it's more targeted towards your coarser, kinky, coily hair. Protein treatment, absolutely a product for everyone. Keratin is a basic building block for hair. Every single person needs keratin in their hair, and Masori Organics Protein Treatment has that. The scalp care treatment, scalp scrub, everything else you can use. There's very few products that are targeted at different groups, and I think that's important, because some groups have been more neglected than others, but a majority of the products can be used across the board. The, the biggest difference or the differentiator is how you use it. I like going to our Take A Lot reviews or one of the other retailer reviews, and you, when you read how people in, engage our products, people with straighter hair will say, or Caucasian hair will say, I use just half a pump and it's enough, but it's incredible. And as a black girl with like very like thick hair, I need like four pumps and they'll get me there. So I think oftentimes when we talk about the differentiator or the game changer, what makes a difference is how the product really is used and the, and, and the process and routines that you follow rather than the product itself or the ingredients themselves. 
I'm so glad you have such a wide range and personally it just feels like you're very inclusive so it's really amazing um, but we need to know <laughs> what's your favorite product <laughs> Woo I have a I have a favorite product every time current but but I think my all-time favorite product is the leave-in conditioner. I love the leave-in conditioner. It's the one product I use almost every day. I just love it. It makes me happy. We all love a leave-in conditioner. <laughs> and if it makes you happy, it will make us happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I don't know. Maybe the audience have a few questions as well. Um, I know that you guys are excited to find out a bit more. Does anyone have a question? There's a question. Hi, well done on your accomplishment. I think it's a beautiful brand. Now, what would you recommend for an African queen like myself? Because I love my dreads. I'm not willing to compromise. I've cut them before and went uh, Afro. But I want to keep them healthy. I want to keep them looking lush. I don't want to lose my hairline with age. So <laughs> help me, girl. Oh, I love dreadlocks. Um, at a certain, it's the only hairstyle I've wanted to do, but never had the courage to do because of commitment issues. So I think you're a very, that's good character over there. The first product I would recommend would be the Hairline Fortifying Serum. One of the things I see a lot with our clients who have dreadlocks, your dreadlocks tend to be pulled back quite a lot, yeah. and your hair is almost always in tension. And because of that, you would need likely two products, the Hairline Fortifying Serum to strengthen and thicken the hairline area, but also to repair it, right? It's not an oil-based serum, it's water-based, absorbs really nicely into the skin and into the scalp. Because of that, you're not gonna be walking around and having things drip all over your face, which is very unflattering. So that's the first thing. The second thing I would recommend is the Root Stimulating Serum. It's one of our newest scalp care serums. It contains biotin, which helps with um, hair growth stimulation. If you massage it all over your scalp, it's a nice alternative for hair oil. People with dreadlocks, oftentimes, I know it's not easy to do your own wash day at home, so you want to clog it as little as possible with heavy oils and butters and so on. Wow. And I would recommend also, lastly, then the activated charcoal shampoo. It contains activated charcoal. It's a clarifying shampoo. The nice thing about it is that it, it, it clarifies, but it also detoxes your scalp free from sulfates and parabens, so it's going to be gentle on your scalp because I know with dreadlocks you don't have to do a lot from a styling perspective. You flick your hair and you move. Dude. There we go. That's what, that's <laughs> what it's about. So it's three products. Three products. Serum. Would, yeah. And um, two, yeah, the two the serums, yeah. hairline fortifying serum, uh -huh. root stimulating serum, and I would say the activated charcoal shampoo. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. We have another question. Hi ladies, you look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> um, I have a question. As you've said that your brand has been growing and so you've got a wider range now. So as a person who's never tried your brand before, where would the starting point be? Which product would you recommend? Yeah. I think the starting point for people who haven't started, who haven't used our brands before is what I call the daily care hamper. The reason for that is if someone, started, if someone wants to try your products, you don't want them to wash their hair, right? It's like these are the products you can go home tonight and use. That would be the leave-in conditioner. It's incredible. It contains argan oil in there. Um, all of these products, no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oils. So this you can use as a hair cream. You can use it daily. It helps with styling. It's got a bit of a detangling kind of like effect on your hair. It's going to be incredible. You can use it on relaxed hair. You can use it on straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair. The second product, which we unfortunately don't have here, is the shea butter hair food, especially for relaxed hair. Right, especially for relaxed hair, especially for dreadlocks, and especially for um, afro and curly hair. It's incredible. It's incredible because it's thick and rich. It's going to seal in all of that hydration that comes from the leave-in conditioner into your hair. It also, it also has like this nice sort of like shiny element. You know, after putting product on, you still want to feel like your hair is shiny. It gives you that. It's like proper, proper hair food vibes with nutrition in there. The last product I would recommend is the all-in-one hair oil which combines five powerful oils that are revered in the hair care space. Coconut oil, moringa oil, castor oil, hibiscus oil, and avocado oil. 
And the reason we combine some of these oils that way is because they're a nice balance of heavy oil, like your castor oil, very thick and sticky, as well as light oils, like your avocado oils, very thin and almost like fast absorbing. The thicker oils are good sealants. Once you put it on the skin, um, on your hair, it seals the hair nicely and helps it retain moisture. But what they can do is they can sometimes clog your pores um, on the scalp when applied directly because they're heavy. To balance it out, bring in a lighter oil, easily absorbed by the scalp, but also create a nice effect on the hair while avoiding things like split ends and dry and dry and breaking hair and so on. So this oil is fit for use both on your scalp and your hair. You're welcome. Liz, I love having protective hairstyles. My cornrows, my braids, you know. So I want to know which product I should use when I have my protective hairstyles. There would be three products I would recommend before you go into protective styling. Mm -hmm. The first thing is you need to make sure that your scalp is ready for it. In order to prepare for protective styling, I say go in with a scalp exfoliating scrub or scalp deep treatment or a combination of both. Why? Your hair is going to be pulled, and where hair is pulled, the scalp sometimes starts getting flaky. You want to make sure that there's enough nutrition, there's enough moisture, there's enough, forti um, there's enough um, uh, what again, um, hydration in there to make sure that you don't get flaky and you don't get as irritated. The second product I would recommend is, would be to help um, fortify the hair itself. Protein treatment. It's a good product to prepare for any braiding activity or any pulling activity that you do especially when you're tucking it away. Because it's got keratin, it's going to strengthen it. It's going to make sure that you don't experience a lot of breakage when you braid, but also when you take off um, the product. Lastly, I would say the anti-itch scalp and hair mist. It's incredible. It contains tea tree oil. It's like a hairspray. Instead of doing this, yes. we don't do that no more. We take it out once you've braided, you spray it. It's got this tingly menthol feeling, almost like a Vicks kind of product. When you put it on your scalp during times when you feel like you need a bit of relief, almost instantly you can feel that relief. It's got tea tree oil, which is also good to soothe your scalp of any issues that could be in there. But also it's just one of those products that if you can wake up in the middle of the night and go far, far and be good. I've used it, but I actually am very intrigued that you have to prep your skin before you do the protective hairstyles, which I think most of us don't do or don't know that we should do because, wow, once you have that protective hairstyle, that's happening all the time. <laughs> wow, it's such a, an amazing range. And I know you also have the skincare product. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so the skincare range was more of our, um, you know, expansion. Mm -hmm. By the way, on day one when Masodi started, we were a hair and skincare product. We had a body butter. It's just that for some reason, the hair care products really caught on. Um, and, you know, the skincare range is one of the things that also excite me about the brand. We are becoming more targeted now and more specialized. We have your body acne kind of serums, especially in the back. Many of us have like those bumps in the back. It's got salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and willow bark extract. It's going to help sort of like soothe the existing bumps and ingrown hairs in your body. But it's also going to help so, sort of like gently exfoliate your skin to prevent um, further recurrence of those kinds of bumps. We have um, a body mask and a skincare mask that targets hyperpigmentation. We get this question a lot from pregnant women or women who've just given birth. They say, I have um, hyperpigmentation over my body, over wherever, um, even on the armpit area. How can I tackle this? It's got matcha green tea powder. It's got licorice extract. It's got alpha arbutin. These are incredible um, um, ingredients, a balance again of your sort of like K-beauty typical ingredients in the alpha arbutin. And then the, on the other side, you will see your licorice extract, which is genuinely a natural extract. You'll see then the matcha green tea, which is a powerful antioxidant that we consume on a daily basis. You will have your body butter kind of product. We're bringing a couple of interesting things. Your body scrubs are coming. We're bringing body souffles very soon. You're going to be seeing a whole lot more mm. from Masori Organics on the skincare side of things. And you're going to also be seeing a more powerful communication about the wellness story that we have. For example, you might see something that has more of an uplifting um, essential oil in there. You might see something that has more of a calming element in one of the ingredients. You might see something that helps you sleep. Um, can you imagine something that helps perfect your skin, but at the same time helps you sleep? Again, that is the blending of the beauty and wellness that we're walking towards. 
Wow, we love to see it. We love to see you growing. We can't wait to see what you have in store for us in the future. And thank you so much for telling us all about Masodi. Guys, don't forget, they're just outside. They're also available at Click Stores. She's doing amazing things for our hair and our skin, so. Can I just ask for one thing before I feel like you're going to let me go? I just want to ask for one thing. <laughs> it is time. <laughs> Please follow our Instagram at Masodi underscore organics. I promise you we engage so well, we answer your questions, we share all the amazing things we're doing with clicks, we're going to share the content for Beauty, Play, um, Black, um, Beauty Playground, um, everything we're sharing there, at Masodi underscore organics. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank we really so appreciate much. it. Thank you, thank you so much. Masodi Organics for the Musadi. What a beautiful product that you have there and thank you for carrying it so well she is her product in every way through and through thank you so much liz thank you so much zizipo ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of an amazing clicks in conversation at the clicks beauty playground my name is shalom word is my voice strength is my choice grace is my beauty and serving is my duty it has been an absolute pleasure being your host for this afternoon, it's the Clicks Beauty Playground in convo with Clicks Beauty Squad. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.